guys and welcome back to the cooking amputee i'm mama sue and nice to have you here with me tonight i am cooking smothered pork chops you guys i am doing this for the fam because we have had a lot of uh protein this week but we hadn't had our pork chops so this is a good cut of um pork loin chops that I got from my local Sam's. And it's been washed clean and ready to cook right now. You guys, before we get started, I would like to say thank you for each and every one of my new subscribers, my returning subscribers. Thank you for all of your support. I really do, really do appreciate it. You guys encourage me as well as my mission to encourage other amputees to continue to live their lives and cook their best dish, you guys. So. Thank you all, and if you're new to the channel, just stopping by, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't be afraid to hit that notification bell as well so that you will be notified each and every time that I upload a new video. You guys, I'm feeling good in my spirit. Let's get to this cooking. Of course, like I said, we have here our tenderloin cuts, our chops. I have over here switch position for a little bit I have over here a blend of seasoning you guys a blend of seasoning that you guys have seen at the beginning of the uh, video what I'll be using real simple easy recipe. bell peppers and onions okay then we have here some all-purpose flour that we will use for our gravy mix. And you guys, this is just a little browning. Just in case you can't get it that real rich brown color that you're trying so to the first thing you want to do, you want to get your chops. Of course, you have washed it clean and get you a nice uh, clean paper towel. Pat your chops. Pat them. Dry as much as you can. So that your seasoning can stick onto your chops. So I have washed this and I'm using it to transfer as I season. So let's season. And you guys, if you are sensitive to seasoning, I always say put on your gloves if you're sensitive to the seasoning because sometimes, you know, the seasoning can get into your skin and stuff, you know may become a little bit irritated so all right almost done you guys that's looking real good real 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 good and what we're gonna do i know some people fry them like you know put a little flour on it but because i'm using flour for my gravy i'm just gonna pan sear these right and sear them get a nice caramelized or crust on there and we're gonna go from there while we get started with the gravy. Okay, so 
Now I'm about to begin to make a slurry. And I forgot to mention, my two main go-to ingredients was my soy sauce and my Worcestershire sauce. So, I'm gonna add some of my seasoning. So basically, that's like two tablespoons. It may look like a lot, but it's not. And I'm going to add some water. Add water to make it like not really liquidy. This is another way that I make my gravy. So I do it this way. Make sure I don't have any lumps or anything going on in there. And I added water in slowly, a little bit at a time. So that's my guesstimation, okay? Don't judge me. Now this is all caramelized. Now it's time to add the slurry. When it gets a little thick like that, as you put in your slurry, just don't be afraid. Add a little bit more water at a time. Just keep adding little bit by little bit until you get to the correct consistency that you're looking for. You guys forgive me with my recording. My kids, it's dinner time. They already bum rushed me with the video. So, it is what it is, huh? So... Then I'm going to add in my soy sauce and my Worcestershire sauce. And taste your food as you go, okay? Taste your food as you go so that you will know what's missing. I think it's time for me to go ahead and add my soy sauce, which that's salt content. A couple of dabs of that. A couple of dabs of my Worcestershire sauce. sprinkle of my season blend that I use to season my meat with. Why not season the gravy with it, huh? Okay, and while I'm at it, I'm just going to add in a dab of the browning. Just a dab. And go ahead and stir that in. And it's going to create that rich, dark uh, color to the gravy. It smells so delicious right about now. Papa Bear done came downstairs and say, it's smelling good down here. And you know what he says, gotta get it, gotta go. Alright, so now, you see that? Nice, rich gravy. What I want you guys to know is that after pan searing, pan frying the pork chops, 
I went on ahead and while it's still hot, I add some more of that season on top of it. So all that time it's been sitting, waiting for that sauce to be made. It's been sitting in that seasoning. So that's how you build your flavors. And I'm gonna let this simmer in this pan for good, I'll say good 10 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys how I make my smothered pork chops. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna show you my ending results, how I plate it with my vegetables that I'm having. No starch tonight, no starch, because the starch is in the flour, but we're gonna have some of the smothered pork chop alongside some vegetables. And Papa Bear might get him some lightning bread. Comment below if you know what I mean by lightning bread. <laughs> All right, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. Smells delicious. All right. Here it is, you guys. Mama Sue smothered pork chops. Mmm. Side of my steamed vegetables. Try and keep it healthy, guys. Try and keep it healthy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let all your friends and family know about this amputee cooking in the kitchen, you guys. Remember to keep God first in all that you do. And remember that amputees can cook too. Until next time, see ya. Bye-bye. Y'all know what it is? Mixed vegetable, smother pork chop. Know what it is. Mm-hmm. That's the table we're looking for. I know what it is. Gotta get it. Gotta go. <laughs>